Hey y'all, I'm Tyler Simone and welcome back to Tipsy Tea, your one-stop shop for beauty brains and a buzz. It has been a minute. It's been a minute. It's been longer than I planned for it to be, but we're back. I'm happy to be back because we have a lot to talk about. So, let's get started. Okay, so I'm assuming that we've all been binging the news cycle this week, and I don't even like to watch the news. So that is big of me to say. I hate the news. I'm too much of an empath. I don't, I can't absorb all the negativity all the time, but I mean, especially now, it's important to stay up to date with what's happening, with what's happening in the world. Already stuttering. Have not even started drinking yet. And, um, some of y'all's cousins were up at the Capitol acting a mess, so I'm just, ooh. You know what? Let's get into it. But first, let us drink. Cheers. And look who has a shot glass this time. See, we're learning, we're growing, we're doing all those things. Happy 2021. Uh, I'm just going to chase with this water. This bottle was gifted to me by my sister. How cute, right? The funny thing is I got my best friend one of these like three years ago now and I didn't buy one for myself. And we should be as kind to ourselves as we are to other people. Making it through the absolute horrible time that was 2020. All right, so we're gonna attempt this look that I found on Pinterest. It's giving very mimosa, it's giving very sunset, it's giving the beach that I wish I was on instead of in the cold right now. Um, so we're gonna say we're manifesting with this look. Yes, that's what it is. It's me manifesting. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera and then I'll be back to start this eye look. In case anyone was curious as to if I still draw on a whole ass unibrow to do my eyebrows, I do. I do. And the unibrow technique, you can't convince me. It doesn't work. Okay? My eyebrows just don't grow into where I want them to be. I don't know what. Okay, we're back. We're zoomed in. We got our makeup headband on. She's a little dirty. I definitely need to throw her in the wash. Brows are on and looking pretty good, I must say. <laughs> Thanks to the unibrow. You're welcome. Um, let's get into it. So, there was an attempted coup at the Capitol this week. Right? Right. How are we all feeling about that? Are we all feeling like... People are really scared, that scared of their white supremacist president going away, that they tried to storm the Capitol with congressmen and senators inside. I think my biggest question is, what was going to happen? I mean, they did get inside, but like, what was going to happen? What was the goal? Was the end goal to tie people up? Oh, God. Okay, well, the nails are definitely making that a little bit hard <laughs> harder yikes um was the goal to like tie people up i read something about people having zip ties and rope have like heavy rope on them stuff that you use to like take people hostage um so that's you know horrifying what were they gonna do to these elected officials and i say elected officials loosely because clearly the Georgia runoff has showed us that <laughs> a lot of people haven't been having a say in who our elected officials really are. Because voter suppression is real. And, you know, thanks to Stacey Abrams and Latasha Brown and all of the other, you know, black women who helped with the Georgia runoff, look at where we are. We are the freaking House majority. We, as an assuming you're liberal, if you're not liberal, I mean, I'm loosely liberal. I'm almost, you know, a socialist. I am, pretty much. But, um, if you're not, why are you here? Continuing on, though. I'm just 
I'm confused on what the end goal of all that was. Was it to scare people enough to overturn the election results? Was it because, well, I mean, we know what it was because. It was because Trump and all of the other right-wing officials, friggin' Mitch McConnell, Mitch McConnell, and all of those other guys were pretty much encouraging this. And then they didn't think that they'd be involved. They thought that people would do small, I'm gonna just call it, go ahead and call it what it is, call a spade a spade, small terrorist attacks on these towns and on their police officers and whoever else. They didn't think they were gonna storm DC, I guarantee you. But then you have, you know, those clips of Trump in the, whatever, his little tent bunker that he was in. I don't know if those clips are before or after. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not down to spread misinformation. But those clips of him in the tent dancing and watching everything that's happening and being like, this is so great. This is awesome. And yet, he, people are storming the Capitol, storming his peop his people. And he's still calling saying, I need, like begging them to not certify Biden. That is just, <sighs> nothing surprises me again. Um, you know, never surprised, bro. By the way, that was P. Louise that I used to prime my eyes. And as always, all of the products I used in the video will be in a description box below. I think... You know, I think I might be able to do this entire look with just one palette. I just got the BH Cosmetics Mimosa palette. Um, this is not an ad, I paid for it myself. But, I'm going to go ahead and show it to you. It's, oh, hello. So pretty. I mean, look at all those colors. It's, it gives me life. It's giving very summer vibes, and I'm pretending that it's summer, so. I, feel, I think, okay, so I, as it being a terrorist attack, any terrorist attack is... To scare people. It's to scare people into getting your way. It's a freaking scare tactic. So, I I mean, these people still aren't getting what they wanted. Like, did, I, did they not think there would be any repercussions? You know what? I was going to ask. Did they not think there would be any repercussions? But of course they didn't think that there would be any repercussions because most of the people were white. Don't even get me started on the bus full of black people that they showed on the news who were headed down there to defend their president and like you know black people are not a monolith there are black republicans there are black super right-wing conservatives however i just want to have a conversation with all of them and ask them why do you constantly go to bat to people who are not for you wouldn't defend you wouldn't care if you died in the streets like i don't know make it make sense and go in with this, I think this pink fits the picture the most. Pomegranate, it's called, ooh. Yes, that's exactly what we want, okay. God, BH, they never let me down. I know some people who really don't like their palettes, but I love them. But yeah, I just, I really think that it's crazy that a lot of people still are not seeing what a big deal it was for these people to actually try to pull a coup. The fact that this was, oh, excuse me, an itch. Um, the fact that this was very obviously planned, had probably been planned weeks before, just in case, you know, these people didn't get their way. And they, people are still not calling what it, calling it what it is calling it a terrorist attack, calling it um, white supremacy, calling it, you know, just disgusting. <laughs> These, a lot of people are saying like they were just exercising the same right that Black Lives Matter was exercising with all the protests this summer. And I, I guess I don't understand how people fail to see the difference between people marching for their lives and people marching because they didn't get their way. Like, I don't, I don't know how people don't see the difference between marching because your person didn't win and marching because people like you are getting murdered in the streets or people who fit your 
skin color, profile, sexuality, any of those things are just being targeted for violent crimes. Like what part of that do you not, do you not understand? And the fact that all of this, all of this, which <laughs> blows my mind was over a Joe Biden presidency. Like, white folks, y'all do know you'll be all right, right? Like you do know you're gonna be okay. Y'all did this over a Joe Biden presidency? It's Joe Biden, not Malcolm X. Like, I'm... <laughs> make it make sense for me, please. This is a different kind of cut crease from what I usually do. I usually go either half or all the way out into, the, like, the brow. But it's cute. We'll see how I like it. I'm just... I'm concerned. Are the white people okay? I know it's not all white people, but are y'all good? Because you still continue to support this horrible person. Um, the fact that 74, yeah, 74 million people still voted for Trump in this election. Like, what are we not learning here? Isn't, like, the definition of insanity to do the same thing over and over again and expect a different result? So, you know... I know some people who voted for him in 2016, told me I was being dramatic, whatever else. I probably cut them off for a little bit, me being the person that I am, letting people back into my life, don't psychoanalyze me. Um, I'm probably still friends with them. And they've been like, oh, you know, voted for him then. Terrible. Will, will not do again. Learned my lesson. And I'm like, oh my god, great. But then the people who did it twice, I'm like, you good? You okay? Okay, gonna go on with shade, ooh, vibes. Vibes. You know the vibes? You know the vibes? The vibes are we hate this country and we really wanna leave. Those are the vibes. America is a big group project that we're forced to deal with. And a lot of the people who are facing the major... Yeah, I have huge eyelids, so sometimes I gotta, like, you know, just hold them down. I don't know. Maybe it's, like, a tipsy thing. I don't think I do that. I don't do that all the time. But, you know, they're kind of... They're rather large. I don't know. Um, especially minorities, because... We, I mean, most of us really didn't ask to be here. And, like, I would, oh, my God, I would love for someone to just comment, like, go back to your country. This is my country, and I'm embarrassed. Um, but, a lot of us came here, or our ancestors came here for, you know, like, better life, like, all of that, and... Does someone want to show me where that is? Because, um, it's looking real shady. It's looking like the dictatorships that, um, the upper government tells you that we're going overseas, that we're sending, um, the U.S. troops overseas to stop. It's here. It's here. Like, how embar- wait, how embarrassing is that for them? To be like, we're sending in these troops to protect this country's democracy when really it's like, you know, for oil or, you know, like, whatever else. And like, in some cases, obviously, and for good reason. However, how embarrassing is it to be like, we're going in to protect this country's democracy and because their government is ridiculous and the people are trying to overthrow them and we are, we are fighting with them. And then for- <laughs> a white supremacist to try to overthrow our government because they're mad that their white supremacist leader is no longer going to be in office. Like, I just... We're living in a book. We're living in a dystopian novel. This is Hunger Games stuff. Like, I can't wait. I know, We've all like, talked about you know, this year, how we're so angry that we're living in a history book. And, like, I'm sure, you know, our parents or grandparents are mad because they're living through a couple history books. But I cannot wait to, like, have a kid and to see 
their history book and what it says about 2020 and 2021 now and just what it's gonna say in general about the last few years or specifically about the Trump presidency. Like are we gonna know by then or are people going to be you know in consensus by then that he sucks, we don't support him, bigotry is wrong, we love all people regardless of sexuality, gender, or lack thereof, race, um, or is it gonna be, you know, you call your friend out or, or your Facebook friend in like 10 years posting like, oh, I never supported him, like, I was, it was, you know, um, what is it, mom mentality. It was my mentality. I was never an actual real supporter. I was forced into it by my family or by, you know, my partner or whoever else. I can't wait. I can't wait because I'm a Gemini and I take notes and I remember all that. I clock all of this stuff and I keep it. Just, you know, I just sit back and I take notes. And so I can't wait for like a decade to go by and everyone to be like, I never liked this man and I love our new government. Or, you know, we'll be in like the pit fires of hell by then because the way things are going it ain't looking cute i'm gonna think positively and just you know think that we'll be in like a better place and that everyone will like regret their decision by then and they'll be they'll just be denying it they'll just be denying it but you'll know i don't know this is kind of a mix between a cut crease and a halo eye and I think I'm digging it in this picture, but wait until I do it wrong and then I'll hate it. Okay, I'm loving it. We love to see it. Definitely need a chunkier glitter. Just right on top. Yes, ma'am, that's it. That's it. J. LaRue Cosmetics is that girl, okay? Okay, she is that girl. That is where I get most of my glitters. I have an entire drawer full of J. LaRue glitter pants. Oh, nothing broke. I'm obsessed with them. They are a black owned company. Please shop there. Not being paid to say this, they just really make a great product. This look doesn't have a wing, and y'all know I love me a good wing, so we're gonna, um, see how I feel about it at the end, because, I don't know, I just think my eyes were made, were made for a wing. I don't feel complete without her. Y'all know I believe heavily in skin prep, if you watch my channel at all, so we got all of it here. We got our booster drops, I already have a little oil glow thing on here um we've got our milani um complexion enhancer we've got our grippy face primer by urban decay the all-nighter and then we're gonna use our fenty foundation Complexion enhancer just like literally look at my skin. Like, are you kidding? If you're trying to glow, I can't recommend this stuff enough. Sometimes if um, well, especially in the summertime, if I'm not wearing foundation, I'll just throw this on and a little bit of concealer. Money. Okay, so I know right now it is it's very easy to stay informed, but it's also stressful to stay informed. Like, I know, um, especially for people like myself, and then I've seen um, a lot of posts recently from folks being like, this is too much, you know, I'm gonna go watch, you know, this TV show or like have my, whatever your form of escapism is, um, your form of healthy escapism. <laughs> and... I, I mean, I can't help but encourage that. I know I need it. I know we all need it. No, none of us should be really be watching this stuff going on 24-7. Um, but we also, 
it's pretty much our job to stay aware of it. Because imagine just even walking outdoors right now and not knowing that these people are really feeling this way about people having a say in their government, about queer people, about black people, about any person who is not white and straight and cisgendered. Um, however, like, oh my God. I feel like every time I even close out my app, uh, my news apps and I take a few hours to myself just to not think about what's going on every time I come back there's something new and it's equally as upsetting to what made you close the app in the first place like that video that's been circling around um I don't know if a lot of people have seen it I know I've seen some people sharing it it's pretty triggering um so I you know if you do share it I'll link it in the comments, but, or not the comments, I'll link it in the description box, but it's pretty upsetting and violent, but it's of that police officer being um, smashed between the barricades of them like heaving and hoeing and trying to get into the White House, or not the White House, the Capitol, the freaking Capitol. Um, and like that, that's ridiculous because, I mean, the people who are there, don't y'all love the police? Aren't the police who you spent the last couple months defending with your entire being? This is what I mean when I say make it make sense. Like, there is no way when black people and allies were protesting and saying, hey, we need, you know, the police to basically stop killing us and just let us live our lives. Y'all were like, well, the police, like, you guys are being so awful to them and they go out of their way every day to help us and yada, yada, yada. Um, and now y'all are actively disrespecting them and um, harming them. And this is not in defense. I mean, I'm a very much like a cab person, but I don't, the consistency isn't there. Like, I feel like at least um, real revolutionaries, because sorry, if you s support Trump, you're not a revolutionary. Um, or real people who are for change and good change in this country aren't, going back and forth like that you're constantly learning and you're constantly correcting yourself but you're definitely not like i love the police i will die for them any day and then all of a sudden the police are keeping you from tying up senate members and you're like kill them like that makes no sense that make that is highlight and contour will make me look more attractive than i am on any given day and i'm so grateful for that to a I don't understand supporting people trying to overthrow the government over a fair election. Now, if this were, you know, 2016, honestly, that's probably what we should have done the first time because there was more evidence that Trump cheated than what they're pulling out now um, about Biden cheating. And the Hillary people or the people who wanted Bernie but voted for Hillary because that's what they needed to do, like myself, we marched, we made our position and our, uh, our positions known and our voices heard, but we didn't go to the Capitol and try to hurt anybody. It's actually the same people who called Black Lives Matter a terrorist group, which really kind of makes me go, like, you can't help, but I don't know if that's just my, um, it's not sense of humor, but if it's my coping mechanism to just laugh at the stuff that's happening because, like, you can't help but do so at this point. Like, I refuse to take responsibility for these people it ain't it, it's not mine it's not my people I don't side with them I don't identify I'm good
you know, if you're a person of color slash a queer person slash a minority who did not vote for this administration, how are you taking care of yourself? Because it's rough out here and um, we need to just be trying to do good do lots of good because there is so much work to be done and it's already only 2021 and like I know or it's already only January of 2021 that's what I meant it's only it's only 2021 mm, poor baby shot y'all know the thing that makes me the most mad about I think the entire situation and I've probably already said something else made me the most mad but this is what really makes me the most mad is that everyone is more upset about I mean okay first of all I'd like to preface a life is a life people dying is never you know okay especially by murder or anything like that however all of these people are mourning um you know the the woman especially the woman who was shot in the shoulder um what's her what's her name ashley ashley babbitt i think that's how you say it i don't know if that's how you say her last name um who was sh shot at the capitol which is so sad and you know no one should die that way but people are more upset about this woman dying and the four other people who passed at the Capitol than they are about Rihanna Taylor who was killed sleeping in her bed. And you know, I don't think these people understand the energy it takes to not stoop to their level and say the same thing that they say about like black men when they're shot for being pulled over for, you know, driving while black or any of these people who have passed, like um, um, Ahmaud Arbery, like, oh, he should have been running in that neighborhood, or, you know, whatever else. It really makes us want to be like, oh, well, you shouldn't have been storming the Capitol. But there's a point where, like, you're better than that. Or at least, you know, I know for myself, I can't, I can't stoop. I don't know, I can't be on the level of these people who are so ignorant and cavalier when it comes to human life. Um, and the people who are saying that stuff about black people. But it really makes you want to show same energy. It really makes you want to be like, okay, keep that same energy when it's yours because now there's all of these um vigils for these people which there should be because they're you know their families are mourning and all of that stuff but it's like these people stormed a, a government building what did you think was going to happen versus people who were sleeping in their bed driving down the street jogging through a freaking neighborhood minding their own business like if people would get that upset about black and brown folks being killed for minding their own business then maybe we could get somewhere this year already we're trying to refund it we're like exchange exchange here i have my receipt please like i would like to exchange this year but let's not exchange this year it's gonna keep going i think this just solidifies um everything we've been talking about about everything bad wasn't going to end with 2020 right like we kept saying oh i can't wait for 2020 to be over as if like covid was going to expire on january or on december 31st and as if like um racism was gonna expire on December 31st as if it hadn't been around for years and I'm just like no I, I think something needed to happen this year for us to keep working towards something because everyone was getting real complacent at the end of the year like I'm just gonna go see my family you know my racist family members and I'm not gonna fight them on it as much because like we've already talked about it so much this summer and everything's fine no it's not fine everything is not fine we need to progress all right lips done everything done set I always overspray just on YouTube because, oh, now I scratched myself. It's fine, it's fine, I'm fine. Um, <laughs> because it feels good. Because I heat up after, after Tequila and yes. Um, 
To close us out, stop being an asshole. Stop supporting a white supremacist. Advocate for those who don't have the same privileges as you. And um, wear a mask and, you know, continue to be safe. And if you'd like to see more pictures of the finished look, go ahead and look on the Instagram as well. And there will again be a detailed box underneath this video of all of the products, exact shades, colors, brands that I used as well. Alright, stay safe, stay happy.